All right, guys, so we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So along with the LR Bardock that we'll be releasing very soon on JP Dokkan, uh, of course, we also have Lord Slug being officially released as a playable character for the first time in Dokkan as well. We also have this new STR Kaioken Goku. He is a farmable unit, and for a farmable unit, I would actually say uh, he is quite good. Uh, they're continuing this kind of trend now on Dokkan. Looks like this is going to be uh, a thing that they're going to keep doing uh, moving forward. Is they're actually going to make uh, good farmable units. Uh, good free-to-play units, which will certainly help out a lot of players. Uh, I really, really love the animations with the Piccolo there. Uh, the earless Piccolo. Uh, you know, obviously to protect himself from uh, Gohan's whistling and stuff. You know, right out of the Lord Slug movie. Okay, this will be a good test. How much damage will he take right off the bat? Uh, 80k. Oh, that is significant. Uh, take. Oh, okay, okay. So, in terms of uh, defensive viability, certainly this Kaioken Goku is not there. Uh, but additionals are going to be a big factor for this Goku. The reason for that is he does greatly raise his attack uh, on super attack. So, the longer the fight goes on, the stronger this Kaioken Goku is going to be. Uh, a lot of these uh, kind of Kaioken Gokus are like that. Uh, the only negative thing, however, uh, is that this Kaioken Goku, he does have extreme damage. Uh, so, obviously, that's, that's you know, a little, I guess I would say disappointing. But, you know, they've done, like, similar things with units like this that, you know, uh, will kind of raise their attack in certain ways. Like, look at the Super Saiyan God Gokus who raise their attack, but, you know, they only have, you know, 80% on Super. Now, the other thing, too is that this uh, Goku, he does need his health to uh, fall low in order for his, like, max power to be reached. Um, once you're under 70% HP, at that point, this Goku will get an additional uh, key 3 and 50% to attack and defense. He starts out with attack 40% right off the bat, but the fact that under 70%, this guy will have 90% attack and 50% defense. That's actually quite good. And you look at his links, like, you know, he has uh, All in the Family, Sane Lineage, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Over in a Flash, and Shattering the Limit. Uh, wait, does he really have Kamehameha? That's weird. That's a, that's really weird. No, he can't have Kamehameha. Uh, because um, he doesn't... <laughs> that, that, that's actually a very, very odd one. Uh, but let's see, like, how much damage he's going to start doing at this point. Actually, I should have kept Turles, uh on rotation with him to really kind of show his power. Because, yeah, we are still under 700k right there. But, a crit okay, another additional super. So, this has worked out really good. We're getting a ton of additional supers by this man. So, his attack really will build up. Uh, I'm going to try and, like, not get uh, the same type orbs as much as possible. Because I would like our health to fall below. Uh, the 70% threshold so we could see his kind of uh, max kind of stats there. But, you know, on the pure-blooded Saiyan team, uh, unless you're going to, like, expose, like, LR Broly to damage, for example, uh, it might be a little difficult. Maybe when we have uh, the Kaioken Goku, if he gets attacked by Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta a bunch, uh, at that point we can go ahead and activate his abilities. Uh, I'll probably just let Majin Vegeta... And, like, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock here on this other rotation just sort of uh, take, you know, take a lot of these fuckers down. And then we'll have the blue Vegeta go ahead and right there. So, I, I do kind of like this new era we've entered of tons of free-to-play units, by the way. Because with the category meta, clearly uh, Akatsuki has decided, like, you know, oh, shit. All right, like, if we're really going to do this, we do need to give people, like, you know, additional ways to where they can actually, like, be able to run these teams. Like, even, like, a free-to-play uh, player would have a lot of trouble running, like, some of these teams. So, they're giving lots of free-to-play options, and free-to-play options that have, like, free-to-play leader skills. Like, this Kaioken Goku right here is uh, a pure-blooded Saiyan leader. So, you could run him uh, as your leader, and then maybe a friend, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, uh, you also could do a similar thing with the new kid Gohan that will be coming out with the event as well, where he is actually a hybrid Saiyan uh, free-to-play leader. Uh, one team that doesn't really have that as of right now is Realm of Gods, I believe. 
I mean, you could run, like, Topo, but Topo's not, like, really a free-to-play kind of unit. Um, all right, so I definitely want Turles, uh to link up with Super Saiyan, or, excuse me, Super Saiyan, Kaioken Goku. I, I think that's one thing a lot of people are going to be disappointed at as well, is that uh, it's only a Kaioken Goku, right? Like, he's not actually the full Super Saiyan that we were all hoping for. I do think they are going to release uh, a full Super Saiyan card, but it, that likely, they, like, they really could, like, sell that to us as a Dokkan Fest. Uh, and I do kind of think that's what they're going to do. Like, we'll probably get that Dokkan Fest, uh, super, you know, full Super Saiyan Goku, maybe as, like, the uh, movie hero category leader, because obviously many people know that we have the... Uh, we have the the movie bosses category. Well, we could get the movie hero category as well. Uh, all right, so this will be good. We won't get a Super Ultra in Sengoku. Uh, and then Kaioken Goku is going to get absolutely bodied right here. Uh, and so we can kind of use that uh, as an opportunity to fall below 70% uh, health. Because Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is kind of an older event now. But, like, he does still hit pretty hard. Uh, so, I'm sure he'll be able to do very good damage. Yeah, especially on a super attack. We'll definitely fall below 70% health right here. Because uh, Kyle Ken Goku's going to take a lot of damage. Yep, there we go. Boom. Oh, no, he dodged. <laughs> he dodged. No, Kyle Ken Goku. Uh, all right, so let me make sure, just again, not to get the same type orb set. Uh, when we move into the cooler fight, uh, we will actually have uh, Goku's passive active. Uh, at least for a little bit of that fight. Oh, we got the other transformation. Yeah, Evolution Blue Vegeta, uh, he certainly does transform quite often. Uh, I really love that about that card. Uh, it just seems to take place, like, nonstop. Like, his transformations are always coming out. Uh, here, we're going to put Super Saiyan 3 Bardock first. This way, I don't have to actually get uh, the same type orb so we won't heal up. Uh, because the last thing I want to do is heal up so that we don't get uh, the below 70% buff. Ooh, this is going to be perfect. We're going to get that below 70% buff on Kaioken Goku. Uh, and we're also going to be able to get a Dokkan attack with him on, I think, that first stage of the cooler event. So that's going to be a really good way that we can see like what, like, what this guy is going to be able to deal. Because, yep, we are definitely... Yeah, yeah, we're below 70%. I think just barely. Uh... Ooh, and we have Turles on rotation, too. Perfect. Okay. Very good. No! Turles! No! That is exactly what I did not want to happen, bro. Oh, we could have had Turles with his support type passive active really buffing SDR Kaioken Goku right there. What a shame here. We'll give Turles all these AGL orbs because, you know, we're definitely going to get the Dokkan attack and uh, Kaioken Goku will be able to heal us up enough anyway. So I don't really mind getting some same type orbs right there. Uh, it's a little difficult to get the uh, nodes on an emulator, though. That's that's uh, very, very hard to do. So let's see what we get. We'll see what Kaioken Goku can do right here. Obviously, if we're going to do the Dokkan attack a little further in the event... Uh, he would do more damage because he does, you know, raise his attack by so much every time that he actually goes in super attacks. Two million! That's not bad. That is not bad for a free-to-play unit to be outputting, like, two million damage. That's quite good. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with this. Like, them giving us these units that will be easy to obtain. And also, this is the first uh, farmable version for Kaioken Goku. So, Kaioken Goku is now... Uh, a farmable character. This is another thing. Uh, global players, you know, kind of have that advantage of knowing which characters will become farmable and which won't. So now you guys know that, like, when the Tech Kaioken Goku comes out for the free anniversary, not to put Kai's in him. Because I know uh, several people did actually uh, put Elder Kai's into the Tech Kaioken Goku to get him the SA-10. But now global players will know not to do that. To, you know, to just wait until he does actually become farmable. Uh, Alright, so, unfortunately, Turles, again, <laughs> decided to transform. Uh, you know, it, it's nice, like, when he transforms, I guess, but, like, we want that massive support-type buff 
uh, for units more so than, like, his extra power for himself. Like, it's crazy how much extra damage he brings to the team uh, by having his support type passive than by, you know, actually, you know, buffing his own attack as high as he does when he transforms. Crazy the way that works out. But, all right, guys. I probably will go ahead and, like, end it here after we take down Cooler. Uh, I I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with what I've seen. Uh, he is a very powerful unit, uh, the SCR Kaioken Goku. Like, especially, you have to look at it kind of like, you know, he is a free-to-play unit, right? So he's not going to be, you know, hitting for 10 million damage like some of the some level LRs or something like that. But, like, th the amount of damage he's able to do, progressively getting stronger, kind of a, a free-to-play leader for the pure-blooded Saiyans. Very, very good. A, a lot of really good things that I'm seeing. So I am highly satisfied with what we witnessed here from SCR Kaioken Goku. Uh, the banner will be out very, very soon for LR Bardock and Lord Slug. Uh, good luck to anyone that's pulling, and I will be streaming as soon as the banner drops. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I will catch y'all later.